Hi everyone, Happy New Year to you. Today is January 2nd and I'm guessing that there's a few people out there whose New Year's resolution is to stay organized and I want to show you how you can do that in Gmail. I'm a big believer in a concept called Inbox Zero. Uh, this idea was um, uh, coined by a guy by the name of Merlin Mann who uh, is kind of a productivity guru. He does a lot of blogging. His uh, blog, 43 Folders, has a lot of productivity tips that are worth checking out. Merlin went to uh, Google and actually gave an uh, hour um, talk on how to organize your inbox and how to set up a system to stay organized and um, take control of your email. And uh, the basic premise of uh, Inbox Zero is that you don't use your email inbox as a to-do list. It's simply a tool to get information to you and then you need to do something with that information. There's so many people who just have hundreds and thousands of emails sitting in their inbox and they have to scroll and sort through that to figure out what they do on a daily basis. Um, and like I said, a lot of people use their inbox as a to-do list. I'm going to demonstrate inbox zero for you um, with my Gmail inbox. Uh, it's morning here and I just woke up and um, pretty light email because it is a holiday today but I want to show you what I do with my email on a uh, daily basis uh, usually multiple times per day. With every email that I get I have three options. Either I archive it which is um, not deleting, uh, it just uh, basically archiving says I have read this email I have absorbed whatever information is in it there's nothing for me to do or respond related to this email I'm done with it and uh, you can watch I have a separate video that I've created on uh, specifically on archiving versus deleting and the differences between them so one option is to archive a lot of the stuff I do um, get archived the second option is to add something to my to-do list if it has actionable items in it and then the third thing would be to add it to my calendar if it's an appointment or if I need to set up an appointment. So let's just sort through the emails that I have here. It looks like I've got uh, three, I've got uh, six emails. So again, pretty light day. But uh, we'll get started with this first one here from a guy uh, I work with. Um, he's asking me some questions regarding um, late assignments and um, kind of our policies related to that. And so I'm going to schedule a meeting with Keith. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to my calendar. The email is open. I'm going to go up to the More button and click on that, drop that down, and then say Create Event. And this will actually pop open a calendar window that will ask me, you know, when do you want to create your event? So I'm going to say uh, Meeting with Keith, and we'll schedule that for um, later in this week. We'll try on Thursday at uh, probably 10. Um, you notice here I can add Keith as a recipient if I want. He can receive a, an invitation to that. Um, but in any case, I quickly, uh, simply click Save. And now that meeting is in my calendar. So I can close this window. And now I can archive this email because it's been added to my calendar. I'm a LinkedIn user, so the next email in my inbox is um, a LinkedIn invitation. Um, nothing I really need to do or um, save here, so I'm going to archive that. Same thing with Groupon. I just usually scan through, see what the deal of the day is. And uh, if nothing is of interest to me, I go ahead and archive that as well. Um, here's an email from someone with some contact information that I need to um, add to my contact list. So again, I'm going to click on the More button, say Add to Task, and say Add Missionary Contacts. And I can give that a due date if I want. I'll uh, work on that later this week as well. And then I can go ahead and archive that email. So here's another email about a student. I'm going to create another um, task and post final grades for this student. And then I can archive that email. And then one more task from um, this guy here. 
needs me to uh, find some curriculum for him. Find assignment for Bible course. Deal. And I can archive that. Now my inbox is totally empty, which um, prevents me from being distracted by those emails. And instead, I just rely on my to-do list. The Google to-do list uh, task feature is very cool because notice those emails that I just added just below the item says related email. I can simply click on that and it will bring up the associated email for me to reread if I don't remember all of the details. So that's how you do inbox zero. Again, basically everything has one of three actions. It gets archived, it gets added to my to-do list, or it gets added uh, to my calendar. Now I'm done with my email and I can go on and focus on my work. I'm John Sowash. This has been another Google Podcast. Thanks for watching.